Josh Allen, we have not heard from him since Stephon Diggs was sent away. Oh. Stephon Diggs sent away for a cap hit $3 million larger uh, than the full cost of keeping him, <laughs> which led us to believe that he had to be traded. Bills have said no, and as you know, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, every single time that anybody's asked them about their relationship in the last year and a half, have absolutely said one thing, which is there's no problem between them. And then many people in the football world think that they are just clutching a broom and picking up the rug <laughs> and sweeping. This is Josh Allen today about the Stefan Diggs trade. Definitely hard to part ways with a guy that's um, been very instrumental in our success here over the last four years. And again, I can't thank him enough for when he came in and how hard he worked and, and what he taught me along the years. And um, obviously, I, I wish we can keep everybody. We, we've made a lot of changes this offseason, lost a lot of veteran leadership, Steph being one of them. Um, I guess that's the nature of the business. And going into year seven now, it's just kind of is what it is you know I don't I don't get paid to um, make changes on the team I get paid to be the best quarterback that I can be and try to lead the guys on this team have you spoke with Steph since the move was made yeah I, I shared a text with him and, and got one back and just thanking him for everything that he did for me and always uh have a spot in my heart for him and I always love that guy like a brother and um you know wish him nothing but the best all right high class the whole way listen Bills Texans uh, will happen this year. They both won their divisions, as you know, so that'll that's going to happen. And um, here's all I will say about this: is Mahomes did it without Tyreek Hill, and now Allen will have to do it without Diggs and Gabe Davis. And there's a ton of kids in the draft. Let's see what who the Bills draft, and then we will see. So I will counsel everybody as the Chiefs have won back-to-back Super Bowls since Tyreek Hill became a Dolphin, I will counsel everyone that the uh, demise of the Bills is greatly exaggerated. This year might not be the case because they definitely had a ton of cap hits on a bunch of guys who were getting longer in the teeth on defense. But it's going to definitely be Josh Allen's time to see if he can... Just put the team on his back every now and then and start finding guys that are not top two rounds on your fantasy team. Yeah, got to make some stars. That's it. Big Dalton Kincaid year coming up. You think so? That kid Shakir started making some plays, did he not? Yeah, he did. He was the one that was wide open for the score had Chris Jones not shoved uh, Deion Dawkins into Josh Allen's lap in the divisional round. What about Diggs' arrival in, uh, in Houston? Nick Casario on what subject matter is this? Uh, he was asked if Diggs. Oh, yes, this was asked. It's like, oh, so, yes, it's great that you're bringing in Diggs for uh, for uh, C.J. Stroud. Is it an issue to bring him in when he's got a reputation of being a diva? Is he going to oh. mess up? That's the implication. C.J. Stroud's mojo. Here is Casario. I don't even know what that definition means. So if, if someone can define that for me, again, like we're not worried about, you know, again, we're worried about what a player does when he walks in our building. So we do our research. We talk to our players. We talk to other players all the time. And ultimately, D'Amico and I sit and talk. And if we feel comfortable with the decision, then we go ahead and make the decision. Um, I could, candidly, I think it's unfair to label anybody until they have a, actually have an opportunity to walk in the building. Again, our environment's different than another environment. So we really don't know what's going on in, in 31 other buildings. Excited to have stuff here and hopefully can add to our team. Clean slate, baby. Clean okay. slate. Okay. I love it. God, I love this league. I love it so much. I love it so very much. It's going to be here very fast. Summer's going to go by fast. So the, the, the listen, I, I love it. It's like someone wants to tell me what a diva is. Here's a diva. A diva is a guy who's going to show up, and if Nico Collins gets the ball instead of him, he's going to he's going to make things tough. He's going to make things a little miserable. If Tank Dell gets the ball and he doesn't, and he thinks he should, that's going to be the issue. And as you know, Stephon Diggs um, had some pretty damn big moments in Buffalo. 
even if he does have that reputation or not, he's now theirs, and I, I think it's going to be a huge addition. I, I, I can't imagine that all of a sudden, like he goes, he shows up there, and suddenly C.J. Stroud has a step back because you added Stephon Diggs. Are you not going to go ahead and make the deal like that you made? You got a second from Minnesota. You're drafting. You know, because you trade out of the first round, you get a second from Minnesota, and basically they're saying, we're using that on Stephon Diggs. Forget about bringing in some new rookie wide receiver, second overall, and dealing with a rookie, rookie wide receiver and what that means for Stroud. We're getting a bona fide him, second overall, and then we're going to get another draft choice as well from the Bills for that because we're taking it on the full salary, and we're going to lop off the last three years, and we're going to incentivize him to go ball out this year. Now, the diva part comes in is that he knows he's got a ball out this year to get his money, and if he's got to share the ball with others that he doesn't want to, he's just, he's got to... Well, or if he ends up being the third guy, is he going to be able to handle that? I, I would counsel him to be able to do that because he might look down at his finger and see a ring. Hey, man, this team made the final eight last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, expectations, they're going to be the team... We expect the most out of Oh, the bandwagon will be the largest yeah, the, in the AFC. Yeah, bandwagon. Oh, God. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. going to start to, trust me, as May turns to June, turns to July, and we're waiting for this thing to finally friggin' kick off in full of August, and everybody's got their season previews out there, we are going to be hell-bent on finding somebody that's going to threaten Kansas City because that's the conversation. Are we going to see the first three-peat ever from the time man of the year and the new game show host of Amazon? Yeah. You know, and, and, and are we going to, you know, one of the time influencers of the year? My way of shorthanding seeing Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Or, 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 like, uh, honestly, can we see the first three-peat? And there's going to be a whole bunch of folks in the media business that are bored with it yeah. and want to find, like, we need to put our marker down on someone who's going to prevent it. Why and the Houston team that's going to be. going to knock off Kansas City. You're going to see a ton of that. And you know what? That person will not be me. I am not pissing off Chiefs Kingdom ever again. <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm two years removed from that, pal. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.